Okay guys, today we're going to go ahead and install, or at least download, um, Unreal Engine Source version 4.20, I believe. Um, so what is Unreal Engine Source? Unreal Engine Source, um, it's the source code of Unreal Engine. This whole time uh, you've been uh, working with Unreal Engine, you've been using a watered down version of the engine. It's not the complete deal, okay? Um, and we need the complete deal if we're going to be doing dedicated servers and things like that. And then it's a big file and it's really hard to get. I mean, not hard to get, but it's a, it's a pain to get. OK, and it's not and it's not found in the traditional launcher. OK, you have to go to GitHub to get it. And GitHub is a repository where you can get tons of tons of programs and things like that. But um, Unreal Engine houses. Uh, their source code there so we need to get it um, but we need to get a few programs first to work with Unreal Engine source okay and the first program that we need is Visual Studio so I prepared a list here because it's quite uh, yeah, a few tubes to jump through it's not as easy to just you know get this stuff I was gonna have you guys just uh, you know hey you go and get Unreal Engine source but you know what it, it took me a minute to get it figured out and I didn't even know what Unreal Engine Source was till at least a year ago so you know I, I was just like everybody else you know working with what they give you in the editor this is not necessary if you don't want to do dedicated servers and you can always change down the road it just sometimes can get more complicated the more data you get and I just don't want stuff to break that's why we're doing it now uh, so just make sure you get a lot of hard drive space okay um, anyway so the first thing is Visual Studio. What is Visual Studio? So it's Visual Studio is um, it's a, it's a separate program that will work in tandem. It'll work together with Unreal Engine, um, and basically it's where all the code gets typed in. Okay, and we're not going to be doing a lot of coding, but we still need to manipulate stuff, and we still need to use Visual Studio to do that. Okay, so basically you you could, if you were writing C plus plus code, you would type the code in Visual Studio, um, and you would click compile in Unreal Engine, and it would grab. It, and, and Visual Studio would be compiling compiling with Unreal Engine, and um, it would update your code, kind of like what you're doing with Blueprints now. Um, Visual Studio it would t it would take longer to process, but in the end, if you're running C plus plus code, you know it's going to be performing a lot better. But anyway, that's not what we're doing. We just have to have it so we can manipulate certain things and we can make uh, servers and stuff like that. So that's what Visual Studio is, and you need to get it. I'm going to give you the link right here, and it's free. Okay, so no big deal. Just download it and install it. Now, um, the second link is uh, uh, we'll get to step two here in a second. But the um, Visual Studio um, it needs some add-ons to work with Unreal Engine, and so here is Unreal Engine's documentation setting up Visual Studio with Unreal Engine. I'm going to give you this link. You need to read through this, and you need to uh, see what it has to say. Specifically, this little spot here that's talking about add-ons and all this sort of stuff. And it's basically, it's it's stuff to make Visual Studio work well with Unreal Engine. Um, and there's a couple key components, and it talks about those, and you have to have those. Um, I, I found a slight discrepancy or, I guess, more information about what you need with Visual Studio um, when I actually downloaded the source code from GitHub and I looked at the readme file and if you look at the readme file um, it's it's right here now now I'm jumping ahead to where you're eventually gonna have access to this but right now you don't have access to this readme file I, mean, I believe if you click the link it won't even let you uh, read it until you download the source code but I'm just letting I'm giving you a heads up um, there's gonna be there's more information in here and I already have it highlighted this uh, nugget package manager you got to have that um, and you got to have these things right here um, so under getting up and running this is in the github um, uh, readme file that comes with the engine okay open it up in github you open it up um, when you download the engine in the readme it'll just be a text file it'll be all over the place open it up in github um, i'll show you when we go to download it um, where this is at but make sure you have these key components um, for Visual Studio, and it's the game development with C++, Unreal Engine installer, and then Nugget Package Manager. I have no idea what each little thing does. I just know that I had them installed and my stuff works fine. Okay, so I wanted to jump ahead a little bit. That way you, um, you knew that as you were installing 
uh, Visual Studio. But fear not if you've already installed Visual Studio. Now, last time I did this, I crashed my my camera, so I'm not going to actually click the button. But if you come down here and you type Visual uh, Studio Installer and you click that button right here that I'm not going to click. Um, good. My camera didn't shut off. It did last time. Um, it'll bring up this guy right here. And then all you got to do is click modify and it's going to take you, um, it's going to take you, let's see if it does it with, it might shut me down. Let me see if it does. Anyway, you click that modify button and this will pop up. Good. My camera's still running. Um, anyway, you click the modify button and it brings you to this window right here and you'll see already, uh, I can, uh, one of these was the Unreal Engine um stuff you needed uh but it's all there on the list so just go through here that nugget component it's actually in here so you got to kind of go through you got to search through these things but it it's all in the instructions it's all right there um just download what it tells you and then you can modify your stuff so i'm gonna get out of there before stuff breaks down so that's if you've already installed visual studio and you want to add those things or w during the initial installation you didn't get those things it's kind of weird it's like it's like starting up a, a program to do add-ons i don't know i don't like how they did it but that's that's how you do that so that's why i wrote right here if you already have a downloaded visual installer make sure you have these add-ons right there um additional visual studio add-on found in the source document which we just talked about which was from github um, and now to actually get access to the Unreal Engine source repository, I give you this link right here and it will take you to right here. And um, it's basically the GitHub sign up. So you have to sign up for GitHub. OK, another it's another free thing. And it's like huge. Like, you know how like Steam is big. Well, the GitHub is the big repository of uh programs that uh, people use and a repository is just a place where you go to download stuff um i'm not trying to baby talk you but i know some of this stuff was alien to me when i was hearing it so people i don't like it when people just throw around terms and expect everybody to know them so that's why i'm explaining things um so anyway go to github um sign up um this is more unreal engine documentation sign up and it tells you what to do. You go to your, your accounts. You're going to have um, some authorizations and some email. Epic will send you an email and you got to click on it. And and then after you go through all these hoops, they approve you. And it's not like, I think it's like an automated process. So it's pretty quick. They'll approve you to have access to the source code. Then you can finally download it. Because here, I'm, I'm going to give you, if you look over here, I'm going to give you the link to the source code but it's not going to work it's going to give you that 404 and that like i don't know that weird star wars reference thing it does that google does if you're using it it, it won't let you um it won't let you go there it just won't so that's the step right you try to click this link it won't work even if i tried to click it from here and i don't want to have stuff shut down on me but you click that it won't work but once you're approved and you've gone through all the hoops of this then you'll have access. I don't know how long that took me. It was like nobody was telling me. It's like, geez, you know, you have all these links for this stuff and nothing's working. I think the internet's down, so I wait. You know, <laughs> it's just, yeah, you got to get approved or you're not going to have access to this page that I'm showing you right here. And so anyway, you'll probably, it won't be on branch 420. It'll probably be on branch whatever the hell, maybe the most current one. I don't know. But you come over to your branch and you just click here. Now, some of you guys that know all about GitHub and whatever, you're probably not even watching this tutorial, but um, you can sync it up and fork and do all this weird crap and how you download it. But for average Joe, just trying to get this stuff to work, just come over here to clone or download um, and then just download the zip file. Okay? Um, so all of these hoops just to do that. So... Um, read through all this i'm going to give you all of these links um and there's documentation upon documentation um so it's, it's very thorough uh, when you download when you when you download the source um i know most of you know what a zip file is but 7-zip seems to work good for me um so when it comes it'll be in a zip file and i would recommend having something like this i don't i don't like i think windows comes with something i don't even know but it, it's crap 
usually. Um, but this is pretty safe. Uh, everybody everywhere uses it. So seven zip. So there's a link to that. But anyway, so there's the steps. Go ahead, get yourself Visual Studio. Um, read through the documentation to see what you needed added on. Go ahead and also, when, uh, you're not going to have access to it right away, but just know that um, you're going to have additional add-ons once you download Unreal um, Engine Source, and you can know what those add-ons are supposed to be by um, reading the README file that's on the page. And actually, let me show you where that's at. So th these are the files right here that you'll download in your in your zip file. And there's the README right there. You click on that, and that brings you to this uh, page I was just showing you. So just know that when you're installing it, you're going to have some add-ons, okay? And the, the thing that is right is the README file that comes with... Um, the Unreal Engine source that's at GitHub. So anyway, jump through all the hoops, get your license um, or your approval or whatever the heck it is in your account through GitHub and Epic's approval. And then you can come here and you can download, clone or download, get that zip file. So that's it for this. Um, not much of a tutorial, I know, but get that steps one. That's the easy stuff. Go get that done. Um, and then we'll go ahead and, and install it. And if you're wondering why I'm not doing this, it's because I've already have all these programs and I don't want to mess something up. And it, it was amazing. Me just clicking links was shutting down my camera and my internet speed's slow. So I'm not actually going to be downloading it on the computer or else it would be tying everything up for the whole day or two. But uh, that's that. Oh, and by the way, Guys, I got a Facebook page now, and you can get on there. I'll put a link to that as well. Hopefully, it doesn't get lost in all the links. And you guys can check me out over there, and I'll have um, some behind-the-scenes stuff, maybe a little extra tidbits, a little advices here and there. So check that out, and like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.